So here's an example I run into quite often with Music Brain, well, where it does not properly identify uh, album contents. Um, and just before we put it in there, let's take a look here at some of these songs here, properties. So you can see if I go into details here, uh, the title is there, contributing artists, album artists, album. Uh, it's got CD1 right there, the year released, the um, track number, the genre. Uh, everything is here, publishers. So it's got quite a bit of information here for the file. Um, and that's true as I go through any file. Um, you know, just quickly go through here in the interest of time. Obviously, you can pause. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, let's go to CD3 and just look at uh, how that one's named as well. I'm just picking things randomly. So you can see here that everything's the same except CD3 and obviously the title of this, the track title, or the artist rather. And then there's your composers in that. Okay, so if we go back out of here and we, um, oh, and by the way, I've already run this through uh, Music Brain before recording this video and uh, was able to properly identify uh, this album. So we're not going to use this, but I just, in the interest of uh, disclosure here, just what I've come up with, this is the actual album here. Okay. Alrighty. So let's get out of here. Let's go ahead and drag this in. And go through it pretty fast. So we're going to cluster. And cluster, you know, correctly identifies uh, all the tracks here, as you can see. Okay. So we're going to... Highlight all of those. Let's look them up. We'll get nothing. Down here it says no matching releases for cluster. So we'll do a scan instead. And we're still waiting for it to come up with the name of this album. Uh, I think this was it, right? Wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely essential. There it is. Alright, so we've gone through them all. There we go. So, less than half the tracks, basically, geez, just a fraction of the tracks that it catch. Um, and it, you know, like poor Jenny is part of the definitive Everly Brothers. Um, and if we look at some of these uh, songs here, for instance, uh, uh, CD1 track number two, if I go to File Explorer and take a look at that, uh, track number two, let's take a look. Just once again, full disclosure here, this is what it looks like in the metadata. And if we look at the one that was properly identified, track number one, properties, details. So this is how the file was to begin with, untouch these files as they were processed from the CD. Okay, so if we, uh, yeah, so if we, let's, uh, let's go ahead and delete these. Now I mentioned I went ahead and actually had already processed these. I've got another copy of it here. And here we go, the Everly Brothers. So it's it's the same. This one's already been processed through Music Brain. I'll drag this in, and it correctly, obviously everything's correctly identified and saved appropriately. Uh, what I want to point out here is the genres. So this is an example where the genres will vary within an album. Okay, so. Uh, Right now, our genre down here is pop, pop. So focus on this area here as I scroll through the files. Okay. So it just changed, right? So the first one is pop. And then this one changes to close, uh, close har harmoni harmony. I can't speak here. Uh, country, pop, 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 rock, and rockabilly. And so we're going to scroll through. And I think it's when I get down to CD3 you'll see a change with the genres as well. Oh, right there. So we went from that to this with that song, Bird Dog. 
and then we jump back and there's another one that's just pop so you can see it varies within the same um, albums here so it was quite a bit of work uh, to clean this up because uh, if I go back here to the un uncleaned one here this one here uh, bring this back in cluster scan unless there's a quicker way that I'm missing here I'll wait for this to finish it's counting down there we go okay so let's see it's this one right here um, so if we just click on the one above it poor Jenny for instance so um, that is going to be item number there it is uh, two four CD two or excuse me two eight CD two track eight so I just been going like this and then dragging it down to eight and then painfully going through so I'm done with this album here there's no others then go to the next one find those drag them into the correct album so very uh, tedious